Hello everyone. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Dog and Partridge, the new improved place of having fine craft tales. If you haven't met me before, you won't find in any farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, and certainly not the dog house. It is the world famous at walk here because of petrol prices are so high. Alan Partridge! <laughs> ah, this is my brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. Hello everyone. In fact, my intros are a lot shorter than these, aren't they? It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. It must have been all week thinking about how long. Oh, about five minutes, bro. Oh, it's hey, professional, you full of it, isn't he? Hey? Hey. So, um, once again, if you haven't noticed before, uh, it's me and my bro, he brews beer kits, we review them, we tell you what they like. We do indeed, sir. That's about it, isn't it? That's really? about it, really. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what are we doing tonight, then, bro? Uh, well, we've got a range of beers across the bar. We've got a couple of extract kits and a whole grain kit. So, oh, lovely. Where are we starting? I think we'll start down at the far end of the bar down here. Any? Right here. <laughs> To, uh, <laughs> for, to the Canadian craft beer. This is the, st oh, Stark Rock, sorry, uh, session series of one tin kit. Yeah. Um, Canadian craft beer, a unique world star Amber ale. The smooth maltiness is perfectly completed by US cashmere and you cannot dry hops, which provide complex tropical aromas. A delicious, mildly aromatic beer with subtle hop aftertastes. So this brews uh, 40 pints, 23 litres. Uh, do you have to have, add anything to it, bro? Well, yes. Ah. Right, it does come with dry hops. It's quite a good kit. Okay. It does come with dry hops. You get the one tin kit in there, and you do get hop boost on some of them. But if you buy the dark right in answer, you also get pure brew in okay. there as well. Right. And there in answer, they do several in answers. So they do one for amber ale, they do one for IPA, they okay. do one for lager, etc. This is with their amber ale. In answer. And roughly how much are these? These are about fifteen ninety nine plus about uh, five six quid for, for your in answer. Okay, okay. Well, that's it, twenty odd quid so away you go. Quite cheap then, aren't they? Yeah. So, let's have a first put waft of this then, bro. Oh. Quite easy to make, dissolve your malt extra as you normally would. You get the mixture of spray malt and sugars as well to dissolve. Just leave it to ferment once you've had oh, yeah. your yeast, dry up at the end. I nearly went in without saying anything. I was, I was, I was going. I was going. Um, I'm getting quite a malty. I'm note. getting a very malty note on that one, bro. Yeah. As we said. Yeah. As we said. Yeah. Um, and what would you expect probably from an amber ale, really? I was going to say that's probably what you're looking for, and it does say yeah. it malty on the packaging, yeah. so you know it's probably going to do what it says on yeah. the tin. Let's so, see if we can taste those cashew drops. Cheers. cheers. Actually, to be fair, that's really quite good. That's quite good. It's a good amber, probably session beer. I can taste the dryness coming through for the offs, and not too overwhelming, but just about balanced. That, in my world, is a beery beer. Beery beer. Because it's what you go in, and it's your standard pub fare, if you like. And mm. it's, it's, it's good quality, it's yeah. nice, it's smooth. Like you say, it's got a, a little bit of maltiness, a little bit of hot, mm -hmm. a little bit of bitterness. Mm. Just quite nice. Quite nice, quite easy session, easy Definitely. traditional drinking beer, really. I was struggling to find a reason not to give it a 10, to be honest. Probably, yeah, probably a little bit watery to the mouth, I feel. A little bit, but then you've got to bear in mind, it is a wanting kit. Mm. There's certainly nothing wrong with it. Oh no, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, what do you reckon, Brad, out of 10? Probably not my favourite beer in the world. No. But, you know, if you wanted to start on something like, you know, just nice and straightforward. I'm, I'm going for nine and a half. I'm, I'm going to join him on that. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to struggle to give it a ten. There's no real reason why it's on that one. Cracking <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, probably not my real go-to type of beer. Now, I think if, if, if you watch our videos, you probably guess we're, we're more hoppy, golden, golden, full in the face sort of beers, really, rather than your, your traditional. Somebody said this is, reminds them of Timothy Taylor Landlord. I don't think it does me quite so no, much. No, not, no. No. Um, no. no. <laughs> I don't really want to say that, but there, there you go. There you go. Okay. Where are we moving to next, bro? Well, we're going now to Festival, one of our... A favourite, one of our revisits, if you like. We're going to go to uh, festivals with beer kits here, and it is... It is a Razorback IPA. Uh, festival premium ale kits, celebration. Now, like my brother says, we've done this in the past. I think we did, I think if you go back in time, this is probably one of our earlier videos, this one. Yeah. So uh, it comes in a box pretty much like that. This is normally one of my go-to beers again. It was on the 12 points, uh, 12 beer kits of partridge extract. It's yeah. always up there. It's always, let's just do it again, because there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. 
Um, so, yeah, uh, I take it in here we've got two tins of more Well, actually, you've got two bags of more eggs, or some cases, one big bag of more Okay, eggs, right, right yeah. Uh, you've got then sugar to add as well, and dry ops as well. Okay, I'm just having a quick look around it. I can't see anywhere where it says an ABV. Oh, well, if you look at the front corner row again, around yeah. the front corner, mm -hmm. uh, just down here in the bottom here. Oh, it does. Oh. Big letters there with big red circles. Yeah. And it's not that big, and it's not that red. It's 5.7. Yeah, it's 5.7. It's, it's, it's quite strong then. <laughs> it's because it comes with, does come with sugar. I think I've done it in the past without sugar. I think I've just done it as per kit this time. Pure brewing there at the end, uh, at start, sorry. And then dry up at the end. Um, yeah, and away we go, really. And you've, uh, you're have you filling this one through the Guinness tap, aren't you? So, yeah. yeah, as prob in the past, I've probably just put it in the pressure barrel. We're all corner kegs now. I know everybody ain't got that set up, mm. but I think it does improve the quality of the beer. Yeah. I yeah. wanted to revisit, put it through the corner keg, yeah. put it through one of these pumps, see what yeah. it comes out like. See if it's any better. I can already remember the smell. <laughs> That's a lovely smell to it, that has. Oh, yeah. Pine notes and citrus. Very notes. pine and citrusy, that. Oh. Um, nice, refreshing sort of smell to it. That's right. Like, yeah. You can have that as an air freshener when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we right. keep going then? That's cool, isn't it? Light, golden, and... One of my favourite beers. That is fantastic. I would never guess that's an extract kit in it either. It blows that other extract kit out of the water because there is two bags of more extract in here and there is a load of sugar as well. Mm. And now you get the, the fruitiness, the pine notes, and the tingle. Yeah. But then you get the sorry, you get the extra tingle from the, yes. the strength of 5.7. You can almost you can almost feel that warm your chesticles up. It's, it's, it's a little bit. Because it's a little bit, oh, this is nice and quaffable. Yeah. Lulls you into that little false sense of security. It does, and yeah. it goes, hey, I'm 5.7. And like that. Yeah. The floor. <laughs> because you, you'd knock that back fairly quick, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. And then realise you've just drank a nearly 6% beer. Not only that, but I've put it through the chiller as well, so it's nice and cold. Yeah. It's probably, it's probably, it hasn't really reduced any of the oppiness. I'm just getting the strong dryness, the strong pine notes coming through. So you could, with it being so cold, you could just, oh, I'll see you later. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. well, yes. <laughs> um, I'm going straight on with a 10 out of 10 for me, Greg. 10 out of 10. All day long, that. 10 out of 10 again, Happy that's bit. why it was on the 12 beer kit spot. Well, well done, Festival. Oh, yeah. Well done. Well done. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, oh, it's going to be lovely. Now, I believe for the next beer, I've, I've got no, I've got no packaging, because it's an all-grain beer, isn't it? It is an all-grain beer. It's uh, from one of those guys that cost my loot. Yeah. Uh, Cross my loof now. Then we've, now we've had a discussion. We've seen, we've been having quite a lot of discussions about pronunciation here. Yeah. Um, did we come up with do cars? Yeah, because it's almost Scottish, isn't it? So yeah. Ducats. Ducats. Because uh, we thought. So one of us when, when, when we're being poncy and saying do cars. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Uh, but we don't think it is. Nah. So um, I've googled it and I think he's right. <laughs> a couple of people laughing at me the way we we've been saying. Yes. It, fair. Yes. Because <laughs> we're not exactly posh. We're from the middle of Lincoln years. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There so, you go. Um, 4.7. Yeah. Um, and I presume it's a clone of the, uh, the beer we all know. They do. This, they also say on their um, website, it is a clone of the bottle version. Okay. Now, the bottle version and the version you get in the pub are only different. I'm not quite sure what right, is okay. different between them. Probably the strength, I don't know. Right, yeah, because sometimes that changes between uh, brewery and bottle, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. But here we are. Okay. Um, I did I just have a quick word. <coughs> that Great. is fantastic. Lovely. Lovely. Well balanced oh. there between the ops and the malts and the grain, isn't they? Oh, that is. You can smell the clean crisp. That's very clean. Nice, clean, crisp smell to it. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Proper English. Well, well I'll say English. It might be from Scotland. We, we think it's from Scotland. <laughs> what we, we, what are we Googling? <laughs> Uh, it's, it, they, they cross my new far from Glasgow, they'll probably know better than me. So I imagine it probably is yeah, a Scottish yeah. beer. It's a Scottish beer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right then, we're uh, going in. Obviously, nobody wants to be independent from Scotland. Uh, anyway, that, that, I like that. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Oh, it's not drinking that one, now freezes over. Oh. oh. Lovely. <laughs> lovely, light, crisp. 
there's no real big punch from the ops, but what ops no. are there mm. are combined really well with what malt's in there. And it's just a lovely, easy session drinking. Very refreshing for me, yes. as, as beers go. That's yes. not going to sit heavy on you at all. No. It's nice, well, it's 4.7, so it's not too strong. No. Um, that could disappear very quickly. That's going to disappear like that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go straight in with a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. And that means... It can go oh, on the board. On the board, the new board, oh. which is now oh, hello. the 2022 oh. All Grain oh. Gits of Partridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's renamed it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't really take any off because it's all great kits. Yes. So we can put this one on as well. Yes. And guess what? Oh, he's got a back. It's got a back. So any all grain kit that gets 10 out of 10 from both of us goes on there. Goes on there. And yeah. I think what we're going to do, like a proper beer festival, at yeah. the end of the year, we'll have different categories and name them without different categories, like Ooh. dark beer, IPA beer, Ooh. clone beer, oh, that's gonna whatever. Be a, that's going to be a messy... And then <laughs> overall <laughs> champion. Oh, I see. Hey. hey. I, we'll just mix, keep on mixing it up. Keep on mixing it up. Just for, just for we, so you can stay tuned. We did. I mean, if you are a uh, supplier out there, we did last year do some awards, and we did, in fact, send the awards out to those that yeah. win it. So yeah. we'll probably do the same again this yeah, year. Yeah, we'll do the same yeah. again. Yeah. 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 There you go, mate. If we can stay oh, so. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no chance. <laughs> right then, bro. Mm -hmm. Coming up next time in the Dog and stay tuned and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss another episode. I'm drinking my beer. <laughs> Oh. After the show. Oh, oh okay. Um, Dark Rock Sunset Red IPA. Mm -hmm. He's written this in the most horrendous pen. I can only just see it. Yeah, so that's Dark Rock again. Yeah, that's another one they sent me, Red Carney. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's a part grain one. Okay. It's off their new summer series. Right, yeah. So we'll be testing that one out as well. I'm sure it's about there, bro. I think that's a GB. That's Gitter Brew Citro, a loop, loop of Matt Citra. All right, yeah, cool. And then we've got another Dark Rock, and you're going to have to tell me what that is because you can't see it. That's Bathams. Right, yeah. Things might change. We might have a Bathams special. Ooh. Uh, because I've brewed that, I've done a video about brewing it. So we might go from here to out there. Oh, we'll yeah. back again. And then see how it goes. Ooh, if really? fucking technology allows me <laughs> and my capabilities of editing. For those that stick with us, we did have quite a few technical issues on the last yes. video. So, yes. yeah, so please be here with us. <laughs> it's all new setup, new bar, and uh, it's definitely getting used to it. And we're always learning. All we're the always time. learning. <laughs> we're learning about beer, we're learning what to tell you. It's and this, this video equipment and all that market. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. If you are watching us on that there YouTube, yeah. uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Uh, go ahead and comment. My brother usually replies to as many as he can. He's a busy chat, but he'll reply to you when he can. I'll do. I appreciate the comments. I do try and reply to people. I do. If I don't reply, don't don't take offence. It's just a <laughs> time, time, time. It's <laughs> time. I run a business as well as well as this business, yeah. and uh, yeah, that's it. Really, it's great, really, isn't it? It's great. Flat out, mate. Flat out. <laughs> drinking beer, going out, drinking beer, staying in, drinking beer, yeah. doing everything about beer, and beer as well. Anyway, it's hard life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, and of course. We will be bringing you videos on how to make beer as well as time goes on throughout yeah. this year. So stay yeah. there as well. And we'll try and give you a bit more hints and tips on what to do. Lovely to do Kegging it. as well. We'll show yeah. you how we do the kegging. Uh, any sort of probably tips on handles as well? Could we probably do a bit of yeah. information on yeah. that? You know, I have done a video in the past of how to connect yeah. your keg to a, to a uh, ample beer. Uh, that information is on one of our past videos. Yeah. Uh, I can always do it again. Yeah. People cool. request it. Right and we are changing the cellar before long, so when that happens, I will be showing you how we're going to be changing the cellar as well. Oh my wife, this is news to me. <laughs> <laughs> right then, bro, is that about it for this week? That's about it. It's a bit goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. Till next time. Who's up? Who's up? To the Queen. <laughs> mm.